Good girl. Okay, today we're going to make kava using the blender method. Uh, I've talked about this a lot on kava forum or reddit, um, everything. So people have been asking about it, how to make it, and here it is. Very, 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 very easy. So you are at about 20 ounces of water. And if you're not in the United States, or that one other country who uses imperial system <laughs> you're at about 600 milliliters or so it's not rocket surgery so you can be off by just a little bit it's fine this here is uh seven tablespoons of kava that is this one is vanuatu kava called mayomi it is similar. It is a similar cultivar to Kilai, and on the same island of Epi, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It slaps. Uh, it's not available for sale yet, but it will be very soon. So, this is seven tablespoons, which is um, about thirty-two grams. Uh, now, what I usually recommend is to do one gram per ounce of water. So you're mixing systems, but so normally you would start with 20 ounces of water and 20 grams of kava powder. I personally like just a little more, so I do 32 grams. So start at 20 and 20 and 20, and then just adjust for whatever you want. So here we go. I'm gonna add this into here. Boom, boom. Then we're gonna add this one at the top. These Blendtec things are very difficult. If you get a Blendtec, this thing can blend a broom, but literally there's videos out there about it, but like the top is so hard to get on. <laughs> uh, okay, so cycle menu. So you wanna do four minutes for uh, on like on medium high. So we're gonna cycle through the menu. Juice, like juice, let's see, beverages. Here we go. It's like cycle. Slow, fast, high, uh, medium high. There we go. So we're starting. So four minutes, you break once, you break for a few seconds. Every <laughs> So I'm going to do the rest of this offline and I will be right back. Okay, that's done. And I moved this back so I can show you exactly what to have, what to do. This is a strainer. This is just a regular cloth strainer. Um, you can get like a nylon micron, a hundred micron strainer, uh, 250 micron strainer is less, I guess less good. Um, but a hundred micron is, is really, really good. And this is a, I would say this is about that. Uh, so what you do from here is you take your kava, and this is what you'll have. It is slightly warm, and so you'll see that the cavalactones are yellow, and they're in there, and they're doing their thing, they're pulled out, and you just dump that right into your strainer bag, that on top of there, and get muddy. It's gonna be a little bit warm, the touch. Uh, if it comes out the top, 
then you might need the restrain. <laughs> so here we go. This is a very therapeutic process. Or how they say in Canada, process. My videographer's smiling. She's not from Canada. She's from Ukraine. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to agitate it, but you also don't want to lock the cavalactones in the uh, in the powder. You want to get them out, you want to squeeze them out, and you want to get the powder about as dry as you can. Um, just because you don't want to waste any of the goodness that is in there. This is probably the easiest way, I think, one of the easiest ways to make kava. There's another way to make kava that somebody else put out there. <laughs> and it's the little portable washing machine method. It, I would say if that makes a solid kava, that would probably be the easiest way to make a large amount of kava. And just don't use a washing machine. If you end up doing that, don't get the bright ideas to stick a bunch of kava in your washing machine you wash clothes with. Like, get a new one. Like, get a small one. Get a new one. <laughs> Unless you're making it for like a thousand people or something like that. And you want to use a regular washing machine. Okay. Anyway, so that is what it looks like inside. Here, get that. That's what it looks like inside there. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> and we're done. You're ready to go. You're right here. And you take your cover beverage. There you go. You're good to go.